Alex is our lone Scottish rider in the field. We saw him make his X Games debut back in 2016, where he had a top 10 finish in street, took eighth place. No Scottish athlete, this might shock you, Chad, has ever medaled at an X Games. Well, I believe he's fighting for that first <laughs> one. So a lot of history at stake here with some guys making their X Games debuts, guys representing countries that we don't traditionally see on the X Games stage. This is a fun one, and we're just getting started. Here's Alex's first attempt. Yeah, 180. He's got a crooked grind, comes back into it, 180. It's just, and there's utilizing a different portion of the course, bump jumping off of that, adding in tricks every time he hits something. Good to keep the flow going. Obviously, yeah, every rail that comes in front of him, he's utilizing everything he's got there. Nice, consistent flow. You're seeing a laser focus from him, trying to hit every obstacle on this course. There are a ton of features. Well, it just takes a specific level of control to make sure you balance on a rail to make sure you get out of that and aim towards the next obstacle you want to hit to keep your line, keep your flow, and everything else actually working the way it's supposed to. He did a really good job of making that a full pull. So we take one more look at Alex's first run, and if you're just joining us, it's a 10-man final. Only two attempts. The single best score counts. I love how he was using that bump jump. I haven't seen anybody hit that yet. Yeah, detailed, doing multiple grinds on single rail, a flat section, then changes up the grind as he starts going down, mixing that up. The judges are definitely looking for that attention to detail, tack inside of his lines. And there you go. We have That's a exactly new leader why. of the clubhouse, 84.33 for Dunnakey as he takes over the top spot. 